Georgia Republican Senator David Perdue is facing backlash for appearing to mock the name of Democratic vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris. But the most insidious thing that Chuck Schumer and Joe Biden are trying to perpetrate, and Bernie and Elizabeth and Kamala, or what Kamala, or Kamala, 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 I don't know. Whatever. Purdue's campaign called it a simple mispronunciation, but critics pointed out the racist overtones of Purdue's comments there. And according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Purdue's Democratic opponent, John Ossoff, raised over $1.8 million from at least 42,000 donors off of that viral moment. Earlier this year, Purdue was also criticized for releasing an ad that exaggerated Ossoff's nose, who is Jewish, Purdue's campaign said it was an accident. Joining me now is Democratic candidate for Senate in Georgia, John Ossoff. Mr. Ossoff, thank you very much uh, for joining us. So uh, Real Clear Politics shows you and Senator Purdue neck and neck. How are you feeling about how this race is going? And do you think uh, this incident that we just played will swing undecided voters uh, if there are any left in your state in your direction? Well, it reveals how out of touch Senator Perdue is. Here we are in the midst of a national tragedy when what we need is healing and unifying leadership. And instead, he's acting like a schoolyard bully, making jokes about heritage of his political adversaries. It's so out of touch with the kind of leadership that the people of my state deserve and need. When so many lives have been upended, so many lives have been lost, so many people are just longing for normalcy, for competence and honest leadership that puts public health ahead of cheap politics. And this is the best that my opponent has. This is why his campaign is in free fall. It's desperate and it's pathetic. How are you feeling about the state of the race right now? Well, Georgia is the most competitive state in the country. That's why Mitch McConnell has spent more money attacking me than any other Democratic Senate candidate in America. Remember that Stacey Abrams only lost here by 55,000 votes two years ago. And we've registered 800,000 new voters since then. Georgia becomes younger and more diverse by the day. Georgians are demanding change because what we're getting from the federal government right now is a disgrace. Our senator has failed us and we have a lot of momentum in Georgia right now. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.